Alrighty everybody, it's hot as Hades outside, so I'm going to do a little electrolysis on this uh, metal wheel I found with the hearts and see if we can get it some electrolysis done and I can preserve it and make it look like this one. Alrighty, I'll get back to you in a little bit later. Alrighty, you see all the little bubbles happen in there? Alright, back to you in a little bit. Probably gonna let this go like a half an hour or so. And I'll take a look at it. And for all of you that are wondering, I uh, made it 10 straight days at the Coin Star. Didn't hit nothing on days 11 and 12. But hey, as a 10 day streak, I'm happy with that. This is just after 5 minutes, folks. So uh, try some electrolysis. Save a relic. Talk to you later. Alrighty, after half an hour, you can see how gross the water gets. But I dried it out and did some slight tapping on it with a hammer and uh, did a little picking. I was able to clean out some of the holes now. You start to see the wrought iron now coming out on it. I'm going to stick it in, clean, change the water out, do another half hour treatment and uh, let it dry out again and tap it again and do a little picking. I'll show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. Alrighty, just change the water out. Just put some fresh water and stuff on the baking soda in there. Let's get this thing going and uh, see how cleaned up we can get it. Alright, stay tuned. You see all the little bubbles down there starting to work. Stuff works great. Now if we don't do this stuff and save these relics, if I didn't uh, do electrolysis on this and uh, put the Rust-Oleum rust reformer on it, the thing would turn to powder within about a year after being exposed to the air. So if you don't save the relics, you're better off leaving them in the ground for someone else to find them and save them. Alrighty, I'll show you this when it's done. Alrighty, once again, after about 15 minutes, it's going to go about another 15 minutes. I'll take it out and let it dry out again. Put a little hammer in and picking. I'll show it to you. Alright, got about three minutes left of the electrolysis. We'll get that cleaned off. Meanwhile, I'm going to start doing some gold panning. Got a bag of pay dirt from Tom's Gold Dirt. And I uh, already got three little pickers on there. Picked off. Sweet! Haven't even put any water in it yet. Alright, I'll get back to you. This is Tom's Gold Dirt. Three quarter pound bag of pay dirt. It's supposed to have at least a half a gram of gold in it. Alrighty. I'll let you know when I finish. I did a couple tablespoons so far. Getting down to the uh, last little piece here. So I figure I'd share it with you. I'm going to do it better with my right hand. Hold on a second. You can uh, see there. Ooh. Nice. That's what I like to see. All right. Let me get back to you with the total later. Alrighty folks, after a couple of electrolysis baths and uh, some light hammering and some scraping and picking, most of the rust has come off. I got almost all the way back down to wrought iron. I'm going to do one more treatment on it, just to see if I can get more of that brown rust off of it. But uh, yeah, going to be another relic saved. Now if I do one more treatment, I'll uh, clean it up again with some light scraping and... Uh, stuff to get the brown off and then I'll put some rust-oleum rust reformer on it and get it to look like this one can't get that hole in the middle cleaned out where the wheel was the axle but maybe after the next treatment I will be able to couldn't even see those other holes before so I'm pretty happy with it all right we're getting there get back to you real quick the uh, gold starting to add up here sweet all right we'll get back to you Alrighty, gang. 
Sorry, Charlie, I had to do that. <laughs> Riser Treasure Hunting Emporium. All right, well, on our third treatment of electrolysis now. Three half-hour sessions. I have to put it in for another half an hour now. And uh, I got dirty quick. So, uh, yeah, brown stuff should come right off. The rest of it is bubbling really good now. So, uh, yeah, folks, don't be afraid to try some electrolysis. Do some uh, rusty relic stuff and uh, put some Rust-Oleum rust reformer on it. And keep forever done. We gotta save these things when we can. All right, can't wait to uh, get this one done. Finish it up, let it dry out tonight, and I'll uh, preserve it tomorrow. Cool. I've got a couple different sizes. That's awesome. Alrighty, right, we'll get back to you later. Amy, part-time detector. K Watt, what's up? Big Ben. Everybody. Jim, MD Melbourne. There's just so many even now. Well, hope you enjoy. Hope you learned something. Hope you give it a try. I'll get back to you. I'm just using the lawnmower tractor battery. And uh, the white's the positive. You put your... Uh, what do you call that? That iron sacrifice iron onto that. And then the black leads your negative. You put your relic on that because it flows from negative to positive. And all that bad metal junk going to the, the sacrifice iron. So that's how you do it. Make sure your negative's on the relic, relic and your positive's on the sacrifice iron. I use nails when I find them. Luckily, I found a whole bunch at a tag sale. So, all right, we'll get back to you when this is done. Later. All right, everybody, we got it almost all the way down to wrought iron. I don't know if you guys ever touch wrought iron, but it turns your hands black. I gave it three treatments already. Did a lot of scraping. I can't get the uh, axle that broke off in the center there out, so it'll have to stay in there. I'm going to give it one more treatment there, see if I can get any more of that brown off of there. And then I'll uh, put the Rust Oleum Rust Reformer on it. Alright, stay tuned. Alrighty, folks. Alrighty, gang. This is the. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Sorry, Charlie. Uh, this is the fourth and final half hour treatment. Got it in there, got my uh, sacrifice nail, got the wire strip wrapped around it. Let's connect this battery up and uh, finish up this last process here. Sweet! That'd be nice. So go ahead, try it. Try and do some electrolysis on a relic. It's fun. I have three big axe heads I have outside I need to get done that I found back in November. And uh, I want to try and do them like J3B did it. Digging uh, Canada with J3B. He, uh, he scrapes them, cleans them, puts them in the oven, cleans them some more, and then he uh, does electrolysis, and then he... Uh, puts them in the oven and he puts wax on them, melts the wax right to it, and uh, they look beautiful when they're done. So I want to try that with the axe heads when I get them done. On a nice cool day, I'll put them in the oven here and uh, see what I can do. Alright, I'll get back to you in a half an hour, see if this water turns black again, and then I uh, will pull this out, clean it up, let it dry, and put some rust rust reformer on it. Alright, see you soon. One minute. I'm sorry to turn on brown. I'll show you what it looks like in five. <laughs> Alrighty, YouTubers, after five minutes, can't even see the piece anymore. Alright, 25 more minutes. We'll get back at it. Big Ben, Giant Garrett Detectorist. Nathan, dog is my co pilot. Dumpside Digger. Hey, happy 4th of July, everyone. Hope you had a safe holiday. Alrighty, folks, we got it pretty much picked clean. Right down the wrought iron. Can't get all the brown off, but uh, did the best I could. Uh, cover it with the Rust Oleum Rust Reformer. All right. Stand by. And hopefully it'll look like this one when we're done. Alrighty. Restrict the gold. 
Not bad. I finished up that uh, pay dirt, that three quarter pound bag. And uh, I should have a half a gram of gold in here. So let me weigh it up and I'll let you know. Still have a one pound bag to do. Stand by. Alright, guys, this is the stuff I was telling you about Rustoleum Rust Reformer. Comes in a little white jug. It's not too expensive. Stops rust and uh, goes on white, but it clears dry. So I'll shake this up and get it applied. We'll get back to you. Hey, folks, like I said, it goes on white, but it'll clear dry. We'll check that in a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. Meanwhile, let's go weigh some gold. Alright, I got the scale zeroed out in grams. I got this thing full of uh, colors of gold. Let me get this shut, stop this port on there and I'll weigh it. Hold on. Alright, Tom's gold dirt. He wasn't kidding. He said it'd be 0.5 grams of gold and it's 0.6. So thank you, Tom's gold dirt. Oh, I dropped a couple specks there. I'll get those picked up. Not bad. Thank you, thank you. On to the next. I'll get that other uh, one pound bag panned out in the next couple of weeks. It's supposed to be three quarters of a gram in there. But we'll see. Hopefully a little more. Alright, I'll be adding all this stuff here into that jar there with all those little pieces. A couple of big nuggets there. Woohoo! And, uh, here, let me weigh all this up real quick. Forget what it is. Hold on. Alrighty, so far I am up to 2.4 grams of gold. Sweet! Hopefully the other bag will get me over three. We'll see. Later. Mm, definitely got some pretty gold there. Later. It's about 9.30 at night, no, quarter of 10, 4th of July, fireworks are still going off around the neighborhood. I try to go outside and uh, watch them, but there's so much smoke out there you can't breathe. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later. It's about 10 o'clock, 4th of July night, Wednesday. We went out to go outside to watch the fireworks again, and it's like a Civil War battleground out there, so much smoke. Well, I came back inside, just the trees are out, you can't really see anything. I got this thing drying up and uh, can't wait till that's done. It should look clear. All right, we'll get back to you. The gold's up to 2.4, so that's like 80% you only get for it though, even though it's 24 carats. So it's worth about $75. After I do the other bag, I should have about $105 of gold in that little jar. Sweet. All right, guys, try some electrolysis. We'll get back to you when this is dry. Bye. Alright everyone, watching Mr. Keebler's uh, new video, 4th of July here, Ride Captain Ride, I jammed along with him this morning with it, so you'll be hearing this in the background. And there it is folks, this is the one I did last year, now I got this one done, came out really nice, love it. Now it's protected, don't have to worry about it. Perfect. Love that Rustoleum Rust Performer. There's the gold I got in there. That was some fun. I'll show you a before picture of these two. Stay tuned. It's funny, Mr. Keebler said I didn't put them on this, uh, Rocket, so I added them. Mr. Keebler, there you are, sir. I added a bunch of people. Copperhead, whoever wanted to be added, uh, and asked me, I put you on here. So, you'll be going up again next time. Stay tuned. There he is again, too. Keebs. Sweet. He's on here twice, too, Sandy Riser. All right. Good job, Mr. Keebler. 
right, they're all ready for launch again. All seven. Got about 25 rocket uh, motors left. Your mystery ship. <laughs> Thank you all of my wonderful subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you.